In the race to use CRISPR in a real live human, China won. But the U.S. is close behind, with a series of CRISPR human trials set to start next year. It's a scientific contest that has other scientists watching with amazement. I think as a medical researcher, that's really exciting to me, to think that different countries could actually be in a race to develop medical cures and, and treatments for human diseases. And there, there could be nothing better than countries throwing a lot of money into medical research. CRISPR is a new method of editing DNA, easier, cheaper, and more precise, and it's revolutionizing scientific research. I think it has surprised the scientific community itself even how rapidly it's been taken up. And how, what's, what's amazing is the number of applications that people have come up with. Scientists have already used CRISPR to engineer mosquitoes to resist malaria. It's also been used to create designer animals, goats with longer hair, and beagles with more muscles. And researchers are also using it to try to correct genetic defects that cause Duchenne muscular dystrophy, Huntington's disease, even reversing blindness in children. But so far, only in mice and in petri dishes. CRISPR-altered cells had never been tried in humans until late last month, when Chinese scientists studying lung cancer removed cells from a patient, used CRISPR to edit them, and then re-injected them to see if they'll prompt the body's immune system to attack the tumor. I think we're going to see more to come in terms of other ways we can manipulate, uh, um, use CRISPR to uh, harness uh, the immune system and other ways to uh, improve cancer therapies. Last year, Chinese scientists alarmed the scientific community when they used CRISPR to alter human embryos, prompting an unprecedented international scientific conference to debate the ethics of using CRISPR to alter future generations. I feel very much concerned of, of the future uh, usage of, of this uh, technology. At the meeting, the scientists agreed it's too early to use CRISPR to make genetic changes that can be inherited. As the CRISPR excitement builds, there's still the sobering fact that these experiments might not work. Sometimes CRISPR makes genetic mistakes. There's the risk of dangerous side effects and the reality that it will still take years before any successful therapy using CRISPR technology will be ready for widespread human use. Kelly Crow, CBC News, Toronto.